Somebody open your mouth wherever you are. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Father, we bless your name. 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 name. Wherever you are joining from, I want you to open your mouth and just bless the name of the Lord. Glorify his name. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of your praise. Father, we give you praise. Leniama, Kambeliana, Erato, Sebeliana. Let us know where you're joining from, wherever you're joining from. Put it on your comment section. Let us know where you're joining from. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. In Jesus. Child of God, welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another powerful time in God's presence. I know that you're not living this place, you're not leaving his presence the same way you came. I know that by the time we're done tonight, you will know that God has changed you. You will know that there is something that has changed in your life. There is going to be a transformation. There is going to be a transmogrification in the name of Jesus. So I want you to connect, connect with your heart, connect to this altar, with your heart, with your soul, with your spirit. Connect everything that is a concern to you to this altar. Even as we ascend even as we are sent to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, let your problems just keep your pro- problems and march on it, praise on it, worship on it, pray on it. And I tell you, the Lord is going to meet your needs, He's going to meet you at the point of your need according to His riches in glory, not according to the riches of your country, but according to His riches. He is the owner of the world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Lord. Lift those hands. Lift those hands. You reign. You reign Zion King. Kados, Kados, ah, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you reign, you reign. You are Zion King. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, you reign, you reign. Zion King. Kados, Kados, oh. you are mighty on your throne. Hey, Sakura, you reign, you ancient Zion King. Kados, Kados, you are mighty on. Everybody say, you reign, you reign. To draw close to God right now. It is time to worship. It is time to worship. It is time to give you praise.
wherever you are, I want I want you to let us know where you're connecting from, and I want you to be the greatest evangelist of our time. Click the share button wherever you are. Click the share button. Share it on your YouTube, on your Facebook, on your Instagram. Share it on your WhatsApp. Click the YouTube link and copy the link. Share it. Keep click the one on Facebook. Share it all over. Let the people know that something is happening here. But truly, this is a generation of them that seek his face, that seek the face of God. We are taking the devil back to hell. The devil will not exist in your life anymore. After this session, let me let you know something. The devil will not find it comfortable to hang around you or your family. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
you to ascend while you're in your waiting place while you're in your waiting place prayer is the reason why you ascend prayer gives you the momentum to ascend Bible says for they that wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings when you when you're waiting what you do is your waiting place Jesus 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 June 20 the building of yourself in your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost let's read the book of Hebrews chapter 5 Hebrews chapter 5 and in verse 7 Hebrews chapter 5 and in verse 7. The Bible says, During the days of Jesus, live on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears of and tears to a fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Again, during the days of Jesus, Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petition with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. Jesus told his disciples, why won't you tarry and pray? Can't you just tarry and pray? But we said, pray without ceasing. Men ought always to pray. Show me a man that can pray and I will show you a man that is living a victorious life. Not just praying, but praying aright. The only way you can pray aright is by asking the Holy Ghost to help you pray. That's right. Bible says, for we know not what to pray about. But the Spirit makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be altered. Child of God, if you don't know how to pray, you are living a vulnerable life. If you don't know how to pray, you are, you are. You can't exist as a child of God without prayer. 
prayer gives you connection. Connection to Zion. Continuous connection to Zion. Prayer is not just what you do. Prayer is who you are. It's who you are. Man that sings is called a singer. A man that prays is called a prayer. Live as a prayer. Without prayer, we are you, you are just comatose. You are vulnerable. You are like vegetable. The devil will use you and play Ludo. You can't live this life prayerless. You can't. You can't afford is 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 the consequence is too much. And in today's session, I want to call you. This is a call for prayer. Jesus. You have to be able to lift up your voice and say, Oh God, we want all the colors of the land that is in Christ Jesus that we have inherited by redemption to be made manifest. Everything that is included in the gift of redemption, if it is not manifested in your life, you're living short of your destiny. And right now, we are going to pray. Are you ready? I said, we are going yes, to pray. Sir. Yes, sir. You are going to pray. You will handle. See, those people, those demons that are troubling you, that are oppressing you. If only you know who you are. You will know that you carry Elohim in you. The Bible says, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. You carry Elohim. How do you carry the most powerful God that you are oppressed by the devil? Somebody shout error. Error. Somebody shout error. 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 How do you carry a bada bada? And you are oppressed by the devil. It means you don't know who you are. And the Bible says, my people, they suffer. Lack of knowledge. Jesus. You are suffering from your ignorance. If only you know who you are. We should be able to, to find the courage to pray at all times. Because that is who we are. You pray when you're broke. You pray when you're sick. You pray when you're discouraged. You pray when you're happy. You pray when you're sad. You pray when you're rich. You pray when you're excited. You pray at all times. At all times. Nothing can overcome a man that prays. Jesus. Nothing. Prayer is supposed to be a, a, an activity that captures the power of your entire being. When you begin to pray and you say, Holy Ghost, help me pray. Even if you're tired, continue. You're tired, continue. Before you know it, the Holy Ghost will take over. When the Spirit of God takes over, then you will know that you cannot pray on your own. You'll begin to ascend. Somebody open your mouth, pray in the capital letters.
the strength receive the power Amen. receive the strength to Amen. pray receive the power to pray Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. you shall pray in good time and in bad time when you're sick when you're healthy when you're broke and when you're half you will pray in the name of Jesus you will pray in the name of Jesus and I speak into your life right now everything that is a concern Jesus every infirmity right now in your body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus. I declare in the name that is above every other name. Jesus, Jesus. Christ. That is resurrected. Everything that Jesus. is a burden. Everything that is a concern around your life. Jesus. Receive divine intervention. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive divine intervention. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever anyone has done. In your life anything that has been orchestrated to keep you down to keep you sad to keep you crying i reverse it right now by the power of the holy ghost every evil altar speaking on your behalf i decree let the altar of jehovah let it override that evil altar and break that altar by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus Put your hands wherever you're hurting, wherever you're sick, in your ear, your eye. Your, put your hand. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, This sign shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out demons. They shall speak in unknown tongues. Say they shall lay their hands on the sick and the sick shall be healed. I project my hand right now in the realm of the spirit and I lay my hands on you. And I decree in the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed, be healed. Whatever the name of your sickness is I care less to know I decree be healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus carry your testimony I say carry your testimony I say carry your testimony in Jesus mighty name thank you Jesus I know that you're healed some of you you've been healed instantly some of you the healing process has begun I want you to send us a message send us your testimony there is a number right now on the screen. Send us your testimony. The Lord is doing a new thing. 
And if you have not given your life to Christ, I want you to leave your hands. This is the time to make that decision. This is the time to make that decision. Spirit of God is talking to you now. I want you to hearken to the call of the Spirit. Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling. And Jesus is giving you the gift of the most beautiful life on earth. A life that would transcend time into eternity. The gift of forgiveness. The gift of righteousness. The gift of eternal life. I want you to open your arms and receive it. Receive it with all your heart. And you begin to enjoy the most beautiful life of your life. Lift your hands up and repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for this privilege. Thank you for this opportunity. I know I have not been living a life worthy of your glory. But thank you, Lord Jesus, for this chance. I believe, Lord, that you came. You walk on the sands of time. You were killed, you died. You, you, you gave up your life for me, for my sin, for my sake. And on the third day, you raised. You rise up and you ascended to God, to heaven, to your Father. And you're seated at the right hand of your Father, still interceding for me. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to sit in you in heavenly places. So Lord, I open my heart and I invite you into my heart. Come into my heart, come into my life. Change me, transform me. Beautify me, oh God. I confess you as my personal Lord and Savior. I decree and I declare that I am born again. In Jesus' mighty name. Congratulations. Put your hands together for Jesus. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory Congratulations, God. child of God. Congratulations. You have just received eternal life. A life of victory. Glorious life. The most beautiful life. There is a number right now on the screen. I want you to call that number. Or send us a message. Send us your name and where you're connecting from. And let us know you've just given your life to Christ. We will call you and we will follow you up. Child of God, Jesus loves you. And wait and see what he will make you. He will make out of your life. The Lord bless you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Give you peace, give you understanding. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Child of God, I want you to go ahead. Share this broadcast right now. And see you on Friday. Wonders of praise. Come with your dancing shoe. See, something is happening. There is a move. And be a part of it. I want you to be a part of the move of God in this season. Connect to this altar and stay connected. And watch your life transformed in the name of Jesus. God bless you. See you on Friday. God bless you. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.